Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve the Windows Store error code 0x80073D0D on your Windows 10 computer. So this could definitely be a frustrating issue, and in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve it without too much of a hassle. And we're going to go ahead and jump right into it. And we're going to start by opening up the Start menu. Type in settings, or you could left go on the gear icon on the left side, alternatively, whatever you prefer to do. I'm going to open up the settings modern UI here, so just wait for a moment for it to open up. Now you want to select the apps tile. In search this list, you want to type in Microsoft Store. Best match to go back on Microsoft Store. So you want to left click on that, and then select advanced options. Scroll down, select the reset option where it says if this app isn't working right, reset it. The app will be reinstalled and revert to its default settings. Your documents will not be affected. Select the reset button. This will permanently delete the app's data on this device, including your preference and sign-in details. Select reset. So once that's done, attempt to relaunch the Microsoft or Windows Store and hopefully that's resolved the problem. If not, you want to now go ahead and open up the Start menu. Type in WS Reset. Best match should come back with WS Reset here. You want to go ahead and right click on that and then select Run as Administrator. Give it a moment here. And hopefully then the Microsoft Store should relaunch without any issue. So you can close out of here. Hopefully that's been able to fix the problem. If you're still having a problem, you can try opening up the Star menu. Type in Troubleshoot. Best match to come back with Troubleshoot Settings. Go ahead and left click on that. Underneath Get Up and Running, you want to scroll down until you find Windows Store Apps. So go left click on that and then select Run the Troubleshooter. Give it a moment here to run. So if it gives you any suggestions, I'd recommend following along with anything. So then I'm going to go ahead and select Next. So again, follow along with whatever it suggests here. I'm going to close out. What to just restart your computer as well, and hopefully that's been able to resolve your problem. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.